Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as France. So before we start playing, one thing I wanted to talk about just briefly and that's the problems with the uh, bugs in this version of Vox Populi, that's the 1.4.2. Um, it seems that there is a bug with wars that they can't be ended which is unfortunate. Uh, there are supposed to be bug fixes for that version 1.4.4 and 1.4.5 uh, that are save game compatible, but there is version 1.4.3 that is not save game compatible. So I'm pretty sure if I install one of the latest ones, I would have to restart here and I don't want to do it after we got all of these camps last time. I kind of want to play here. If the bug occurs, I will try to play around it. Basically just try to kill everybody in one war. I'll just have to be a bit more careful when I am declaring wars. And it's possible we will just play this series with endless wars. I mean, it could be an extra challenge. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen, but I'll do my best to just play with it, just accept it and see if I can handle it or not. I mean, worst case scenario, at some point, if it's not manageable, I will be forced to install the, the latest version, see if it messes up the game or not. Uh, hopefully not, but if it does, then yeah, in the end... It may uh, force us to restart, just re reset the series, but unless I am forced to do it, I would rather not because honestly, when I for the first time saw our starting location that was like through uh, the second episode this year exploring, I was really sad about the start, but through the uh, through the third episode, it changed completely and I just thought, uh, really really like our starting position um i don't think i've ever had a start like this or it's been a while since we had such an interesting start on camera so i just want to enjoy it uh and hopefully technical problems won't mess this up for us but we'll find out later for now let's just focus what we can do so i made one change before i started recording uh, i increased the priority of herbalists so we are now uh building them before councils and granaries i'm not like 100 percent sure if i can afford to delay the councils but Herbalist will be giving us a lot. So I'll just go for it and hope that it's not a mistake. Uh, what else? Well, I guess that's it. We can start playing. So what are we doing here? Improving resources. I'm not sure if I want to get another, another worker here. Oh, by the way, do we have more money? No. Uh, or if I want to go for more units... How are we doing research-wise? I have to figure out what we are going for after uh, writing. I should probably grab mining. Although we should not have huge problems with production. I was thinking mining into military theory into sailing. But maybe I could just do sailing and then grab these tags. Because we have more than enough buildings to build that we will get the libraries. So it's not like we need to research more tags that gives us, give us buildings. Also, this will give us lighthouses, which will be, I think, decent on this map. Not something that I would want to build immediately, but we want to get them uh like quite quite early okay fine let's go sailing then into mining i was even thinking like writing into philosophy something like oh, actually for philosophy we would have to go mathematics as well never mind yeah there's just no way oracle is one of the wonders that you just can't build in current version you'll never get it the AIs are just too fast during the classical era. 
Um, so military theory. Uh, I don't know what we should build after that. I guess I should focus on development as much as possible. So masonry to grab both water, uh, actually no water mills. That's not gonna happen. We don't have rivers. So here it would be just arenas, but arenas are good. Uh, I also want to know where iron is. I think I should go construction in case Rome decides to be really aggressive so that we can have uh, walls. Then we go ironworking and then we go masonry. And by the time we get masonry and can start building arenas, hopefully we will have forges and a barracks so that we can immediately buff them up. Something like that may change, but for now, I think this is fine. Good. And now we can just start hitting and turn. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Actually, this wasn't that bad. I expected the horsemen to hit much harder. Temple of Artemis for... Oh, for, uh, for Rome. Not good. I need him to get more money. I want to sell him my furs. So how does it look like here? So this is his capital. How many cities does he have? Three. Okay, so the city here is definitely hidden on this tile. This would be two exposed. It will be very difficult for Rome to get ships here, especially from this side. Next. Oh, he decided to run away. Okay, good. There are more barbarians somewhere around here. You can move to the side. Excellent. You can land next to the camp. And next. Good. We will have to catch that the horseman at some point. Or maybe not. He decided to stay here. I thought that he may cross the sea and just start bothering uh, our workers. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the camp. I think right now. I don't want another horseman to spawn. You can go there. And let's explore around Rome as much as possible. Uh, okay. Well, that's the... Actually, do we want to grow in 14 or not grow, but build faster? What is the difference? For 414, and here it saves us a turn. So until we are done with the monument, it doesn't make much sense to work the production. But after that, that would save us four turns on the shrine. Depends on how quickly we get the horses, of course. Or... Uh, the first, that would be even better. I could buy this tile, but I don't think with this income I can afford to buy tiles, unfortunately. We all have to probably buy a second archer.
This should be much better. And I have to keep an eye on Rome, on the, his income. Next. How are we doing? Five turns. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Um, you go there, probably. You go there and you go there. I want to have vision here just in case Rome decides to send a settler this way. That would be unfortunate. So let's go here. I want to see as much as possible. Fortify, fortify. There he is. Please die. That's gonna be a decent amount of cul culture. Did we not get culture? No, we did. It just I didn't see it here. Um, food to grow in eight or growing 10 and save a turn. I would rather save a turn on the monument, I think. Two turns on the growth doesn't really change that much. How are we doing here? Six turns. In seven turns we'll grow. So in seven turns we start working on the, another settler and it's actually going to be two settlers. And then we are done with settling. 45, 45, uh, no wait, you still should be here. Since it's possible that I won't be able to end wars, I don't think that declaring for the worker would be a good idea. And even if I was able to end the war, I still wouldn't do it. It's too late. I would lose the, the pathfinder. Oops. That was a misclick there. Fortify. Go. Once again, I forgot about the worker. What the hell is it with the workers this time? I just can't remember the one thing. Oh, you'll definitely get vision range. Jesus. All of these legions. And there are going to be more and more. Still on three cities. Okay, so he, uh, here's those cities pretty close together and he's settling. Well, he can't really settle to... Oh, actually, he could settle towards us. I mean, this is a really nice spot. That's an amazing spot, actually. Two unique luxuries, double sheep. He would reach the fish. There might be something more on this side. So he could have decided to go towards us. If he uh, had a city here, then the island would be suddenly a lot more interesting for him because there would be another unique luxury. So I hope we have some time before we become an interesting target for Rome. And it will happen, he just has to fight. Okay, this is probably as far as I'm willing to go. I don't want to end up here locked away. Nice. 
next. What is that? That's not Rome. Oh, that's great. He is forward settling someone. And this actually looks like a large continent. Hmm. Well, the way how it looks like now is that this could be something like Britain. This could be something like France. But if it was that way, then the map would be kind of small. And even though the map... Oh, that's England. Uh, even though the map is based on Europe, I don't think it's, it's based on Europe that closely. Uh, next. Do we buy the... The archer now, or do we keep our money for a while just in case? I'm considering the worker because there are tiles that we want to improve here. Maybe I will get the third worker. There she is. Uh, you have money, yes, you do. Excellent. How much are you willing to pay for gold? Five gold? No. For now, that's fine. Now I'll have to check her unique abilities because it's been a while since we had England in game. <clears throat> you are still piss poor. Plus one movement for naval and embarked units, and minus 25% naval and gold maintenance. Foreign spies operate 25% slower in own cities. Spies are faster and operate one rank higher than normal. Starts with the spy. So she still starts with the spy. That's what I wanted to know. Um, if she was playing the way she's like supposed to, she would send the spy to Rome piss him off and they would end up in the never-ending war because of them. Problem is the AI loves to send spies to a player no matter what, so she's probably gonna be spying on us. Won't get anything out of it. What else do you have? Ship of the line. Longbowmen are annoying. This. This. Just because of this one promotion, I kinda want to Kind of want to play England at some point. It's also a save that uh, I think we haven't played yet. What is Ajinkor? Attack bonus, defense versus armor. Oh, yeah, makes sense. I hope we'll be able to avoid that. Definitely don't want to repeat Agincourt as France. Okay, there is that. And did we finish the... Uh, the Herbalist on the same turn as... Uh, we gained the population? That's good. That's really good. So now we queue up two settlers. Why is it 14 turns? It says 11 here. Now it says 14 here. Is it the happiness thing? Might be. Well, I need two settlers anyway. Really need to get that coral. Uh, because that's all that we can get. We don't have any other luxuries. I mean, there is the marble, but it's gonna take a while to get that. Come on, Rome. I need your money. 
How much are you offering for the first? Still a lot. That's like six gold per turn. And right now I can get three. Fourteen. Can we reduce that? Fourteen, thirteen. We can. Next. Yeah, I know that you want my furs. I understand that. But I don't want your horses. I would like to get one of your luxuries. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Sorry, dude. Get more money, then we can trade. Oh, we have monopoly on furs. Problem solved. Really? One, two, three. Is that it? Control four out of seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Once again, I forgot to improve the tile one turn earlier. Damn, I'm good at this game. Three turns. Huh. I don't think I want to wait here. We could get the horses for sale, but... Oh, how many horses do you have? Zero. She may want to buy horses, actually. But it's not guaranteed that we get the horses. I could just go here, wait in the water, and improve either the furs or the horses. That would work. That I can also... I could have gotten the worker one turn earlier. But I'm still gonna do it. I need to improve the tiles. We are getting uh, the bonuses from camps, not from luxuries that um, are improved by camps. We need the actual improvement. So I kind of need the workers and get everything as soon as possible. All the camps. <laughs> Did the production time change when we got above 50%? I think it did. Okay, this should be a camp. And this is London. That's actually good. Look how aggressively Rome is forward settling. Yeah, they definitely won't like each other. Problem is, I'm not sure if um, England can really defend at this stage against the Balliste and Legions. That's just such a crazy power spying that Rome gets early. Oh, there is Naples. Damn it. So he's going for two cities along the coast. These cities will probably be impossible to take until we get like galleasses, maybe even maybe even like frigates. It's a little annoying. We could fight. I mean, we don't have to, actually. We do have to take cities as rounds. But if we can't do that, in just fighting and killing units is something. Probably start fighting with galasses and end the war with cruisers or something like that. I also need to build a ship. We need to explore around our island because we are definitely not expanding this way. And we still need to expand somewhere. Yeah. Don't think we'll be getting copper anytime soon. He has money. Five gold per turn. Good enough. That's all he's willing to pay. Perfect. I'll take that. Thank you. 
we don't have to wait a turn. Now we have 14 gold per turn. Big doubt we should be able to get money for four. Oh right, we can't get trireams yet. So we will just save up until we get sailing. Next. Okay, at least he didn't get Terracotta army. Oh, what the hell is happening here? So many things. More furs is happening. Good. Now we need to find more people to sell the luxuries to. So that's that. Oh, we have a city that demands coral. We can do that at some point. How long until you grow nine turns? Hopefully we get the, the coral. We can get rid of that and that. Now it's time for the food. And for that. 16, 31. It's five turns on the Herbalist. At this point, I think I want the protection. There is even more protection. Don't think we'll be getting much science out of that, unfortunately. Be nice to get one more Barbarian spawn here. It'd be great. Or maybe find a Barbarian somewhere once you start exploring. Let's see how much is the shrine gonna help. We are at 86. Can we go down to like 74? 71. Not great, but it's okay. Acceptable. Ooh. Hey! Another happy customer. Did I trade it or not? Just curious. It's unlikely, but there was a small chance if he had the city-state ally somehow at this point. One of these could have been a tradable copy. Nineteen gold per turn. Okay, uh, can I somehow catch the horseman? If I wait here, he'll probably go this way, get slowed down by the terrain, and I'll be able to catch him and kill him. That's the ideal scenario. He's probably just gonna run away this way and get killed by someone else. Should probably keep an eye on him to see the direction at least. He moved here. I sh no, I wouldn't be able to catch him. Still don't have the movement. Yeah, he's too far. I can make it here and here, but that's it. And now he's just gonna run away. Yeah. Okay, so the next city has to be here. Rome is already scouting. Well, that changes a lot.
I have no idea how he did that. And why he did that, more importantly. Because he has better... Oh, well, yeah, he has better... No, no, he already has copper, so he went for the unique luxury. Son of a... I can't take the city, there's just no chance. There's not enough room. So how much does this change my plans? Because I still need to cover this land. If I don't, he's gonna settle here or here. So I'm gonna have a ridiculous city that's completely useless. Just to make sure he doesn't settle here. And I think I will have to settle on the first. Do I want to have two shuttles or do I want to have a camp and shuttle? This would be a little bit safer settling here. But I would be out of range of the cattle. But I also don't think I can get the cattle in time, and I'm not buying it, of course. What are you doing, Rome? That's sad. Would you be interested in a Look how much land there is for him to settle on. No, he has to go for it. all of this coffee here. Come on, dude, you have luxuries everywhere. And you have to settle on my tiny island. I can't fight him with five, five cities. He's just gonna get to 15 with no problems. What a dick move. This was supposed to be my buffer against him. Now he turned it into a reason to fight us. God damn it. Hey, managed to catch randomly one camp. No, 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 no. I want the production. Hey, you will go south. This guy, when he's done, will improve. This tile. Okay, two forty seven gold. 
We still need to wait for the triremes. This is gonna be a naval game. Wrong tile. Next, well, at least next time it's guaranteed coral. I hope he's not gonna complain about this because it's overseas. So you shouldn't complain about me forward settling. And by the way, this tile is viable for a city. So wouldn't be surprised if he tried to settle it. Twelve turns for sailing, great. Hey, our first city state. Friendly military state. That would be a nice Oh actually two city states and culture. Wow, that's such a good such a good uh, combination here. They'll probably fight each other. <clears throat> Okay, let's just hope that this tile doesn't count as forward settling. Am I asking too much to for once have a peaceful neighbor who is not a dick? Last time it was Shaka, now it's Rome. And Rome early is so much worse than Shaka. It gets a little bit better later, but uh, later could be too late. Do we go this way? I want to know what's here. It's quite important. If I get really desperate, I might actually settle down here. He just got the alliance of the militaristic city-state. Damn, he's doing really well. Well, we have to spam ships. Please tell me he didn't get the library. No. Thank 
That's good. I can't even get to the camp. I'm well technically I could. But if I send my units down here, I will I won't get the mag because he will get the fish and I'll get cut off. And I can't go this way. Uh... Okay, library, we need more science. Oh, so he got the alliance aggressively by giving the city-state a unit. Wow. That's a clever move. I have a feeling there might be an alliance already forming against against Rome that I would happily join. I think we'll just play until we get sailing by one or two ships and then we're gonna make a cut. Uh, whoa, all of the city-states are down here. <laughs> Perfect position for Rome. Like, he's gonna settle here, make sure that no one can get to the city-states, gonna get alliance with all of them. He'll get, like, infinite culture because of that. Some food doesn't hurt. And the source of units. Not that the AI really needs units, but sure, why not? Whoa. Would have been such a nice spot if we started it here. Almost too much room to to expand. I wouldn't know where to go. Okay, he didn't get Oracle. I also hope that there isn't the safe. There could be, there could be somewhere, Korea, who just got uh, uh, Great Library and Oracle. Because I'm pretty sure the save that got Library also got Oracle. And if it's a, a strong save, then the game might be almost over. So, are you going to complain about me doing this? Well, we can just embark. Wait. I don't think we need a shrine here. We will go council next, granary, and probably lighthouse after that. Here, the herbalist won't be nearly as strong. How much are triremes? Two thirty. Gonna get one up here for exploring and one here probably. I'm not sure where am I gonna move it. Mm. 
But he can also, he can completely cut me off here. So I wouldn't be able to move ships from one side to the other. But actually, when do we get the forts? Here. Like a fort here. Fort, ah, uh, not here. That has, that has to be a camp. Fort here. So that we can move through. We can even get like a fort fort and move through the lake. We could even do fort here and then we want to get a fort here so we can move this way. I can wait, even though it's a capital. The capital has enough tiles to work. And by the way, a lighthouse in the capital is gonna be great. Okay, how are we doing tech wise? 19, 18, 18, so that's okay. We are at 10, but can't really do anything about that in the early game. The important thing is he isn't too far ahead of these two. I'll probably do like four or five more turns just to explore a little bit. We could hold these three tiles, make it impossible for him to cross. And then we would have to hold the coast, but it's not gonna work. Uh, I'll probably have to hide my ships like here. Defend with land units. So how do we do this? You have to go there. This guy's gonna sit in the city. Uh, you have to go somewhere. Doesn't matter. You will be here. And can we get through? This looks like a sea tile, and there are more sea tiles here. There could be an island. With my luck, it's just gonna be one tile island. No! No! Was I correct? He didn't get the. Uh... What the hell is he doing? He didn't get um, Oracle, surprisingly. And he is in really bad shape. Oh, really bad shape. Well, average, let's say. 
I thought he had 15 tags. I just saw the, the population number and thought that was the number of tags. Now he has 18, so he's not in the worst shape. Um, cool. It's been a while. Can I get six gold per turn from you? That's way too far from Rome. If he is alone here, behind some massive mountain range, and he has like half of the continent for himself, eh? <laughs> uh, there is Germany here, so he is not... Well, we, it could be a different continent, technically. But he is at least not like completely cut off. There will be some conflict, hopefully. I'm not gonna log this tile because we will get maybe the fish next turn. Hey, there is my one tile island. Excuse me. We did get the fish. Okay, one more turn. Sure, we can take that. Religion for unknown save. Oh, hey, there is a passage. There is a passage. Is this connected? No, it's not. It's still very close to Rome and very far from us. Also, I can already see what's going to happen, because I'm not settling here, of course, they're like just not happening. But, I settle here, and then someone is going to settle on the island and cut off all of this. Also, I want another ship to explore here. Okay, so I think the situation at the start of the episode looked way better than it looks now. For some reason we got Korea again. There were two random saves. I left two slots for random saves and we have to get Korea. I wonder if the second one is Shaka. Also, it seems that this is the edge of the map. No, it's like... No, wait, edge of the map. Oh, it could be the edge of the map. Let's 
So the plan to try to expand in this direction won't work either. So the only way I can go is here. Can we skip to the point where we have navigation and start winning? Well, we'll definitely make a cut here. Next time, we have to explore. I'll have to think a little bit about where do we get more settlers, because I can't get more settlers in the capital. Like, we've already lost four population there. So I will have to maybe get a settler here, and definitely one here. Those two will go this way. Also, we'll have to decide when do we do it. The happiness is already kind of low. Uh, we will get a little bit from the coral, but that's it. We can get happiness here, so there would be one city covered. But if I settle here, I want to start with two cities right away. I just don't want to have one lonely city that then someone is going to take from me. Also, I probably need more ships before that. don't think I can wait for pioneers. It would be much safer have pioneers covered by, by caravels. Yeah, I can't really say how this is gonna go. Um, so we are done with this episode. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.